Hey everyone, Demise here. Welcome to another Artery Gear video. So this is going to be a showcase of the guild system, uh, especially with the new guild boss fights and also the uh, Lava Crack, which is the tower system. So if you haven't already seen the guild system, uh, you basically join from here, the guild. And once you're in, you have your guild. Uh, we are still recruiting, but there is a very long wait list. Uh, if you head on toward our community Discord and go to guild search and go to the pins, there are two guilds that are happening at the moment. One is mine, one is the uh, the other one is the mods. Uh, of course, there's another one called Hunters, more of a casual guild. Uh, do apply, tag the guild leads, and uh, yeah, lots of goodies if you donate at least. Uh, two stamina pots every single day. So, with the guild system and the new simulation mode, uh, I'm just going to showcase um, uh, how the fights work. So, I have beaten all the bosses. So, you get one attempt every single day and it refreshes. And of course, you can use those blueprints to buy attempts uh, up to a maximum of two more, so three total um, attempts per day. And uh, you have your different difficulties and you have to beat the previous difficulty to challenge the next difficulty. And each difficulty has a chance to drop stuff like uh, the stamina pots. But obviously with the higher difficulty, the drop chance is higher. Um, so because right now it's the fire type, you can pretty much just kill it with your centaur team. If you watch my previous videos, you'll know what team I mean. And then if you go into, so there are two modes you can fight. One is the actual fighting, and sorry, this is the actual fighting, and this is the simulation mode. When you go into simulation mode, you can see if your team is suitable um, to use to one, uh, one team kill the boss. Uh, because obviously the the downside of this is once you enter with a team and if you don't kill the boss um, that team is unusable and you're locked to that team for um, for actually uh, let me just switch this for actually uh, 11 or 12 hours um, and all their gears are locked as well so you can't uh, you can't just swap gears to someone else so this is a very good way to see if you know your team can beat uh, this boss at whatever difficulty you're challenging. And because it's uh, the test mode, there is no consumption of attempts. Uh, so you're free to see, you know, oh, I'm very close or, you know, I can't do it uh, and stuff like that. So for me, uh, I can beat it, although it is uh, just a bit tight, I believe. Um, so I'm going to see... Uh, if I can do it in the simulation mode. Uh, you saw previously I did clear it, but unfortunately I brought down the boss to um, one, uh, sorry, 10% HP and uh, I needed to, uh, to use two teams to clear. So here you see it didn't work out. Um, so let's just stop that here. And uh, the one thing that people don't know about is when you, even when you go into the actual full on fight and when you do the fighting, um, you can quit and it will not consume your attempt and you can restart any any time to fish for RNG as needed. Um, so what I'm going to do is just showcase here. You see I have one attempt here and I'm going to challenge. Uh, so because I require a very specific amount of RNG landing the debuffs, um, critting, um, it's going to be uh, a doozy to try to do this on camera with a 100% uh, success rate. But what I will show you is that you can pause here and you can just reattempt. Uh, so this is a challenge again and it doesn't consume anything so you can fish for rmg and if you think that you know what i need to upgrade some of my skills or i need to move some gear around simply click um stop and you can just quit and it's not going to use any attempts and it's not going to lock your units or anything uh, the only time it locks the units is when uh, when you complete the run and let's say your units die or something then it, it locks it um so if you want to challenge extra and that's too hard for you, you can always go back to the previous difficulty and go from there. Uh, so hopefully that clears it up in terms of the guild boss system. Oh, and one more thing I did forget to mention in the simulation mode uh, for the, the guild boss, which is the simulation mode. Um, you get achievements every time your guild members clear a specific difficulty. So this for easy, someone took it. Normal, I was the first one to clear it. Hard, I was the first one to clear it. And extreme difficulty, I was also the first one to clear it. And then these are um, guild accumulative uh, clears. So And this only works 
on the highest difficulty. So um, ten, uh, the highest difficulty boss must be defeated ten times. So let's say um, everyone was able to beat uh, the extreme difficulty, then uh, we probably reach around this stage in maybe ten days. Um, so right now, as the game just started, it's a bit more difficult. But as gun members get stronger, um, everyone can hopefully get those accumulative. Um, the rewards that are uh, worked together on by the entire guild. Okay, so um, the second part of the video in this is going to be very quick. I'm going to talk about the lava cracks, which is the tower system. So the tower system is something that resets every day, and then this time it's going to reset in three days. And you can see that for every five levels of clearing, you get the gold, you get whatever the 10th tower gives you. So skill points, gems, uh, crystals, more skill stuff, uh, fodders, and yeah, it's... Decently all right. I think um, if you have a center nine clear, center eight clear team, you can easily do this. Uh, the only thing to watch out, uh, as I needed to manual do, was floor ninety. Uh, ideally, you have a Roko to do poison damage uh, for this unit. And then I think uh, the last uh, hundredth level, you need to do manual as well. However, one thing people don't know is when you're fighting. Uh, the towers, your supports are wiped, but you have to manually re-add it, and you can actually use those supports. So, for example, here was the team I used to clear the last level. You can actually go into this part, this section here, and then select the blue orb, which I think is the best one, um, to help you block two instances of single target or AOE damage. And then once you do that, uh, let's just say you're going to fight. I've already cleared this, so I can't really show you. But let's say I go into a random fight somewhere. Um, let's just do here. And that was this, yeah, this with the blue orb. Um, what you will do is um, go into, if you want to auto, that's fine. If you don't want to auto, you can use um, either manual or semi-auto. So let's stop the auto here. Uh, here is where you use it when it's available. And here, the drop down, um, select this. So it will use this on auto. A lot of people don't know this, but it significantly helps with your story and with your tower clears as well. So yeah, hopefully after all these tips and tricks, you'll be able to clear all the tower, all the 100 floors, as well as the guild boss. Uh, for the towers, as soon as you clear the 100th floor, you're pretty much done with this game mode because in three days, it's going to reset and it's going to clear all 100 floors for you automatically so you don't have to go through everything again. It records the um, the highest level you've achieved. Um, so it's going to be monthly income. Very, very good. Um, so yeah, that's the video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment. I'm creating a few more content over the weekend just to, I guess, catch up on the, the content drought. So if you haven't already joined the Discord, find us in the guild and we'll see you there.